We want to introduce you to a local little genius named Cash Quest. She is two, going on three, with the IQ of 146. The average IQ in the United States is about 100. Cash was recently accepted into Mensa, the largest and oldest high IQ society in the world, making her the youngest in American Mensa. What's this one? Asia. Asia, what's this? Europe. Cash Quest is definitely not your average toddler. Tell me the three branches of government first. Yes, he is. He's just so. Hey. We started to notice her memory was really great, and she just picked up things really fast, and she was really interested in learning. What's this? Why? What's this? 17, 18 months, she had recognized all the alphabet, numbers, colors, and shapes. So that's when we were kind of like, okay, you know, she's learning really fast. So it was a cross between what are we doing at home versus what is it that's, that's attracting her to memorize and grasp all these concepts so fast. Huh? Cash can also identify all 50 states by shape and location on a map. Mississippi. She's learning Spanish, knows over 50 signs in sign language. Please. Knows how to count to 100. 100. <gasps> can identify elements on the periodic table by their symbols. Phosphorus. And is even learning to read. Blue and yellow make blue. As you can imagine, keeping this little genius busy isn't easy. I actually come from an educational background in terms of career, so we were also in limbo of trying to find a daycare or preschool that actually catered to what she was able to do. So Sujit opened up a preschool. She teaches 12 kids and gets to spend time with cash. It's just taught me how to parent differently. I think we're all given children with different abilities and different, you know, temperaments and things like that. And if anything, I think it's taught us just more so how to be able to communicate with her. Do you have to remind yourself that she's like two year old going to be a three year old soon? Do yes, you sometimes I forget do. and you treat her like a, like, I don't know, a teenager? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, she is also too. Um, and so she's in that toddler stage. So she very well much is a still a normal two year old where, you know, we have negotiations, we have tantrums. The way we communicate with her, it has to be different because she's able to understand just a little bit more. And not sitting still, which, which is yes. uh, <laughs> the classic sign of a two year old. Exactly, yes. Sujit so says it's important to let Cash lead the way. I think one of the biggest things with me and her dad are making sure she has a childhood and we don't force anything on her too early. We're kind of going at her pace and we want to just make sure that she is useful for as long as she can be. Bye, thank you. <laughs> I mean, she's so cute. Okay. Not only is she so cute, but something that stuck out to me about that whole piece is did you see Cash was learning? She was processing, she mm -hmm. was understanding all this. I didn't see one thing, one, not a tablet, no technology in that piece. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought right? about that. That's a good point. Yeah. So like there's no screen time, so there might be something to that. You know what, I think that that's right. I think screen time sometimes, sometimes makes kids um, have a shorter attention span. I've mm -hmm. certainly witnessed that, so that's a good point. I yeah, she had that. cards, she was playing with it. I mean, I know old that- Old school way. <laughs> old school old way, you school actually way. touch <laughs> the toy, you read it, you yeah. look at it, you point yeah. it. And sometimes people can point. learn faster like that, yeah. right? It's like you're a visual learner. So, are you trying to make yourself feel better because she has a higher IQ than like everyone um, here? Collectively. Yes, <laughs> collectively. Yeah. And I probably need to put the phone down. She I know. Remarkable. She's so sweet. I feel for those parents because they're going to have to stay so many steps ahead of you. You mm -hmm. already get to a point where you can't do your kids' math, right? Right. She's she's in Mensa. <laughs> you can't really help with homework with her.